It has been claimed that Pete Davidson has admitted himself to a wellness center. According to a source who spoke to people, the 30-year-old star of King of Staten Island decided to seek help once more as part of his continued commitment to always prioritize his mental health. The insider went on to say that Davidson's friends and family are pleased to see him prioritizing his health and well-being. Page 6 request for comment was not immediately answered by Davidson's representative. The former cast member of Saturday Night Live decided to check into a recovery center a month after divorcing actress Madeline Klein. After being linked together for the first time in September 2023, the comedian accompanied Klein, 26, to a SNL afterparty, and a month later, they were seen holding hands in public. Before he started dating the Outer Banks star, Davidson spent less than a year with Chase Sway Wonders, his co-star in Bodies Bodies Bodies. In addition, he famously dated Kim Kardashian for nine months in 2022 to 2023 after dating celebrities like Ariana Grande in the past. Two weeks after Davidson disclosed that, despite quitting other drugs, he still smokes marijuana, information on his most recent treatment stay became public. I still can't give up, marijuana. At his, Pete Davidson, rehab tour, performance in Atlantic City, New Jersey, earlier this month, he declared, it's all I have left. I used cocaine, ketamine, and fucked all the pills and stuff like that. It's almost over, all I have left is weed, but I'm hanging on a little while longer. In August 2023, Page Six revealed that the comedian attempted ketamine therapy for his depression. Only a few months had passed since Davidson checked himself into a treatment center to help him deal with his borderline personality disorder and PTSD. Page Six was informed at the time by a close source of the Bupkis actor that his decision to seek treatment was normal for him and therefore not cause for concern. Everyone who knows Pete knows that he will always step up and get help when he knows he needs it, one insider said, adding, Pete regularly goes to rehab for tune-ups and to take a mental break, so that's what's happening. Davidson has been extremely open with his followers about his issues with mental health throughout the years. He acknowledged having serious suicidal thoughts on CBS Sunday Morning in 2020, adding, I got as close as you can get, just like testing the waters. Before he met the right treatments and met the right doctors and did all the work that you need to do to not feel that way, according to Davidson, things became pretty dark and scary. In 2018, he also disclosed to Variety that since he was nine years old, he has been in and out of mental health facilities. To connect with a licensed crisis counselor, text STRENGTH to the crisis text line at 741-741 if you or someone you know needs mental health assistance.